tongue is able to detect five different tastes. Salt, sweet, bitter, sour, and umami, or savoury. But in this video, we're going to show you that the flavour of your food goes way beyond just your taste buds. First, you'll need some cinnamon and some cotton buds. Now, this isn't your typical cinnamon challenge. You'll need to take your cotton bud and dip it in the cinnamon so you get some on the end. Now, pinch your nose, stick out your tongue, and place the cotton bud on your tongue. Really concentrate on the flavour. Now, let go of your nose and take a <laughs> big sniff in. You shouldn't be experiencing the full flavour of cinnamon. There's <laughs> a common misconception that your tongue is divided into different areas, each of which are able to detect a different flavour. But that's not true. Your tongue is covered in tiny bumps called papillae, and along the side of these papillae are the microscopic taste buds. The molecules of food bind to receptors in these taste buds, and depending on the shape of the molecule, the nerves in your tongue send a signal to your brain telling you what your food tastes like. So how can our other senses influence the flavour of food? For our interactive experiment, you'll need some tonic water and some headphones. Feel free to pause the video here while you go and fetch them. Got them? OK. You'll really need to focus on the flavour for this one. You only need a very small volume of liquid to get the taste distributed through your mouth, so just take a small sip of tonic water. Now make this video full screen and click on one of the annotations below or the links in the description. Listen to the track, focus on the flavour and tell us what you thought in the comments below each video. Once you've finished, you can click on another one to listen to the other track or when you've done both, click over here to come back to this video. Listen to one yet? Don't forget your headphones. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, welcome back. So what did you experience? Is there a difference in the flavours at all? If our experiment has worked, many of you will have experienced a sweeter flavour whilst listening to this track. But with this track, you might have noticed that the tonic water tastes much more bitter. So what's going on here? Well, our experience of food is not just heavily influenced by taste and smell, but also our other five senses. So the texture, the sound, the colour of your food can all play an important role. Typically, soft, light sounds, red colours and rounded shapes tend to give a sweeter taste. Whereas if you have lower sounds, angular shapes or darker colours, that gives you a bit more of a bitter sensation. Your brain paints a picture of the world around you using multiple pieces of sensory information, throwing them all together in a single canvas. So tonic water may taste mainly bitter on its own, but if your eyes and your ears and your nose are shouting sweet, then your brain can't help but be influenced by all of the evidence. Since these perceptions rely on our previous experience, identical foods can have completely different tastes across different cultures. Even the cutlery or container you're using can influence how your food tastes. Metal cutlery is associated with better flavours than plastic cutlery. Your tea tastes better out of a china cup than a polystyrene one. Performing rituals is also reported to improve the flavour of our food. So whether it's birthday celebrations with singing, blowing out candles and ceremonially cutting the cake, or perhaps the ritualistic experience of eating out at a restaurant, or maybe you only like your coffee, your way, in your favourite mug. Let us know about your unique food rituals in our comments below. Many thanks to Charles Spence, Professor of Experimental Psychology at Oxford University, for his help with this video. And to the guys at Condiment Junkie, who produce the music you listen to. You can find out more about their work by clicking a link in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, check out Ross's trip to a dairy farm as he investigates how cows have changed human evolution. And for more science every week, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.